What's up, guys? If you want to see this Stinghouse catch, um, it is on Locals in the pinned comment. Um, obviously, it's way too spicy um, for here, so it's going to be on Locals in the pinned comment. It's only $5 a month to join. And until February 1st, we're running a promo that you get your first month free if you sign up for monthly. So anyway, join Locals in the pinned comment. You get to see this. A fire lieutenant that got caught many, many, many others early and, of course, uncensored, including where I may or may not have shoved a prod. So be sure to check it out in the pinned comment because February 1st, the price monthly is going up to $7 a month because we hit 2,000 members so quick, the demand's so high, but we're giving you guys a free month until February 1st. But after that, it's going to be $7 a month, so get it now while it lasts. What's up guys, before this video starts, be sure to follow us on all platforms, including on Rumble, which you can find in the pinned comment. Um, this platform has been giving a lot of people like us a lot of problems lately, and <clears throat> Rumble is a lot more receptive um, to free speech and whatnot. So be sure to follow us on Rumble. Um, any video on here, you can also find on Rumble. And if you're looking for a video and can't find it on here, it'll be on our Rumble. So be sure to follow us on Rumble in the pinned comment like the video. What's up guys? A lot of you guys may know about the Gordon Flowers hoodie. However, we also have a fried pickles hoodie as you can see right here and Gordon Flowers sweatshirts that you can get in many, many different colors. Show your support for the Gordon Flowers movement and the PP movement by getting one of these. I can tell you they are very, very comfortable. Like in all seriousness, they are. And I actually do wear them. So uh, be sure to get one of these and enjoy the video. This channel is a group of investigative journalists who make educational documentaries showcasing and educating society, especially parents and legal guardians, about potential scenarios that result from young people and adults conversating online if left unchecked. We conduct thorough interviews with consenting adults in an attempt to understand their perspective on why they partake in these conversations online with people that are not of age. The goal of the interviews in these videos and the videos themselves is to gain an understanding of the perspective of the individual being interviewed so parents and the rest of society can be educated and aware of potential thought processes and desires of adults online to unsupervised persons not of age. These videos are not to cyberbully, harass, degrade, accuse, or threaten any individuals partaking in the interview process or in the video itself. We do not condone any of these actions. These videos are strictly educational and we grant full permission for academia, which is any classroom setting or in scholarly papers to show or cite our videos. To ensure that these videos are strictly used for educational purposes, we strictly adhere to YouTube's community guidelines, such as not revealing someone's personally identifiable information. In other words, PII. YouTube defines personally identifiable information as their home address, email addresses, signing credentials, phone numbers, passport number, medical records, or bank account information. We thoroughly look at and edit our videos to ensure that none of this information about any individual is shown in our videos. To ensure extra privacy for each person that is a subject of an interview in any of our videos, as of September 1st, 2022, to thoroughly comply with YouTube's harassment and bullying policy, there will be no mention or information about the last name or first name of any person interviewed in our videos. Due to potentially illegal activities discussed in our videos, law enforcement in the respective jurisdiction we conduct these interviews in is notified of each interview and video filmed by us. We are not accusing any individual interviewed of being guilty or committing a crime. That is the job of law enforcement. We are not vigilantes and we do not condone vigilantism or vigilante behavior, such as taking the law into your own hand or not notifying law enforcement when a suspected crime takes place. We are investigative journalists. Trigger warning. Some of what can be discussed in these videos can be sensitive to some, emotional, or stressful. The only goal of these videos is to educate the public. At the end of each video, as of September 1st, 2022, there will be an educational portion at the end to discuss what was talked about in the video and to discuss what people can take from that video and learn from and tell others about. Our goal here is to bring awareness and educate the public. Now the video will start. How's it going? Is this uh, Ron? Yeah, that's me. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Gordon. Hi, Gordon. Hi. How can I help you? I got a package for you. Okay. Okay, look. I got to talk to you about what happened with Summer, okay, man? I have all the messages here. I just want to have a conversation. I have everything saved, including the phone calls. I'm just here to have a talk with you. I don't want to do look, it up. I was, I was violated by that happening. I'm not going to talk to you. And I'm going to have you arrested if you come back here again. Okay, Ron, I'm going to let you know. You can happily, you can obviously call the cops. If that's the case, then when they come here, then, you know, 
That'd be on you, man. So I think it's probably best we just have a talk, get it addressed, yeah, yeah. and I, all of that. I've been sick for days. I'm mm -hmm. not going to let anybody in. I'm not going to talk with anybody. It's not going to happen. Well, I mean, I'm not, Listen, dude, we're not here to hurt you, man. This person who was pretending to be Summer mm -hmm. violated me. No, well, actually, it doesn't matter. As long as you believe that it was a younger lady, then it is legal. And we have, and the, we have the recorded phone calls of so what hard. happened. Oh, you know, okay. on the last phone call, she, I think she figured out that I knew that she was, she was running a scam on me. Did she ask you for money? No, she just, oh, okay. when, when, so, she, when I turned the tables okay. on her, she just hung up and went away. Right, I understand. However, what happened, still telling this person, you know, some bad stuff on the phone. And again, I don't want anybody hearing this, telling some people some bad stuff on the phone. That's why I'll just leave it in a general term. Um, yeah, that's still not legal, and we do have that recorded, man. We're not here to scam you. We're not here to take your money. We're not here to ask for money. I'm just simply here to talk to you about what happened. And if you want to insist on trying to get me arrested, I can promise you that's not going to go well for you because I'm just going to be straight up, man. This isn't like the first time that I've had a little talk like this. I haven't done it too much, but I can assure you that when the person calls the authorities, it never ends well for them. And... Look, the thing is, when you after you found out it was, you know, after you found out, then hey, you know, doesn't matter because when you believed it was real, that's when all the stuff went down, you know, and that's that's the thing. So, Ron, dude, look, dude, listen, I I don't know how you got in with this person. Mm -hmm. uh, this person is a, the one making the phone call, and and I was preyed on myself. Mm -hmm. There was never anything improper going on mm -hmm. i couldn't even figure out why a 13 year old girl was calling me all the time except i figured she was in a new state she needed a friend right and look ron i'm not here just about summer okay i mean i didn't come all the way here without knowing kind of the rest of the search histories that happened stuff like that i know it you know on facebook i know summer wasn't the, isn't the only incident i have the messages to summer but i know this goes deeper because i you know i didn't come here a dumbass i'm not from here i'm all the way you know where santi california is right not really. down near down san san diego and you're a personal trainer aren't you that's right well i appreciate what you do should i, I maybe i need to talk to you another time about that <laughs> but you know, look, I, I'm genuinely sorry to meet you like this because you're a guy that actually does shit for society. You're not some old, I'm not, you know, I know old men aren't lazy, but you're not some old lazy man that's just living off of just, you know, not being productive. You actually did something. So, you know, I think you're more of someone that, hey, you maybe got a little bit carried away rather than somebody who's just like, you know, nah, he's all day just doing stupid shit, you know? And that's what I need to talk to you about, man, because look, I know it's not just with summer. I didn't come all the way from, let's just say San Diego knowing that, huh, was Summer the only person online that this happened with? I know it's not the case. Because I we did... Know what you think happened. Right. Well, what happened was that there was court, online correspondence. And the reason why I came across the Summer thing is because you're not married anymore, are you? No. Okay. Because your hands got a little bit too busy doing some stuff online in some groups that shouldn't have been happening. Do I think that... Do I think you're one of the people that go kill people online? Because you know that exists, right? Yes, I do. Okay. Do I think you're one of those people that's going to go kill a girl online and take her? No, I don't. But do I think maybe you've been dipping your toes in the water that maybe the toes shouldn't have been in? Yeah, I do think that. And I think the best way to address that is just have a conversation about it, figure out what happened, figure out if it'll happen again, yeah, and see. crazy. You don't know what happened, then okay. <laughs> nothing has happened. Right. I don't know what your okay. imagination is. I'll tell you, why don't you give me a copy of those? And let me see what you've got. We can go over them together. But yeah, I'm not going to go over anything with you okay. until I read okay. what you've got. Okay. And then, even then, I can't imagine a reason there right. is to go over the, the messages themselves were okay, besides some stuff about a breast. But, you know, the recorded phone call is kind of a thing that... Um, that I, that I personally don't think is legal. And according to California state law, as long as there's an assumption that the person was younger than 18, um, that's, that's still good. And you know, there's a reason I'm coming to your door to just talk to you about what happened rather than not feel the need to, because, you know, look, Ron, I'm gonna be honest. If these messages were all about just nasty shit, like, oh, I'm gonna 
you, blah, blah, blah. Do you think I need to come to your door and talk to you? Do you think there's even a reason for that? You think I should still still do that or no, no, okay, no, right, no, right. You know what I mean, right? Yeah, right, right. So, look, <clears throat> I'm not saying I'm here to just it's just going to be all peaches and cream and all of this, but being with what I have and the recorded phone call, because recorded phone call is you know the smoking gun. That's a uh, that's you know that's that's what that's like you know Trump and his taxes. I guess that's what they have. You know. The rest of this, no, but it led to the phone call, and it was a slow process where you and the other person kind of got a little bit carried away, and I'm not saying it's all your fault, because never did you really spam. You didn't, like, say, hey, you better text me or else, or this or that. I know, but... And she was after me the whole time. She's the only one that initiated the conversation. Mm -hmm. She's the only one that initiated messages. It's, that's all there was yeah you know, right there. but i mean i heard what some of the other people were doing go texting her like 100 times a day right all this crap right you, there, was, there was never anything like that i never i never pursued her in any way no i understand however the first message came from you um the first the second message that you sent you knew she was 13 and the conversation happened for a couple months i don't know who the d was that tipped you off but you're probably lucky that happened because... Oh, she tipped me off. She tipped me off by the way she was acting. From the first time I talked to her, I had I made notes that this person isn't real. Uh -huh. Watch out for there's something wrong. Some kind of game she <clears throat> play. Right. So, you know, Ron, if, if that's what you want to stick to, and if you want to ignore all the evidence in my hand, if you want to ignore the recorded phone call, and if you truly want to call the cops on me, you can. Um, I'm not saying that's in your best interest. I'm just saying I can't force you to do anything. I can't force you to talk with me or anything like that. But I'm giving, I'm extending you the olive branch of just having a conversation about what go, what happened. And I can assure you, I'm not going to be satisfied with the conversation. Nor am I saying you have to satisfy me. But I'm not going to be satisfied with the conversation if you're just kind of at, you know, the door halfway there. I have no weapons on me. Do you have any weapons at home? No. Okay. Okay. I don't. My friends are kind of over there um, just for backup you know they're not they don't have any weapons nobody's here to hurt you um, but you know there's already somebody watching what's going on and th that's how questions are going to be raised about what's happening and I'm more than willing to answer those questions when the wrong person asks and you know I'm not the one that lives here so I, I think it's I think it's probably best that we do go inside and have this conversation because, you know, if we don't, um, you know, I'm not going to force my way in. I can't. I'm not here to do any of that. But, you know, if we don't have that conversation, then, you know, I'm just trying to. I'm not threatening him. Yeah, what do I threaten him with? You are threatening him. Okay, well. Because the, I have a Okay, well, there's messages between him and a 13-year-old girl, okay? Well, I think... What am I, threatening, what am I threatening him with? threatening him with violence, telling him that if he does not let you in, things will escalate. I literally said I'm not going to force start. my way in. Let's, let's, start. let's start with you telling me who this person is who was, who was violating me. You, you can call the cops if you want to, ma'am. That's totally fine. It won't end well for him, but you can, you can absolutely... Huh. Is a verbal threat. That is a verbal threat by saying that it will not end well for him. Uh, okay. That is a verbal threat. I'm not threatening to do anything. I'm just saying you can call the cops. Threat. You can call them. That's that fine. Is a verbal threat. Okay. There's a reason why everything's recorded. I mean, I know I'm not. I'm saying you can yes, call you them. Are. Go ahead, ma'am. Sorry. You are threatening him. Well, if you insist on calling them, go ahead and like us. Because you're saying that we threatened and we you didn't. Are by the exact that reason, we're the exact reason that we're videotaping is because someone like you lying that we're threatening him. No, we have it all recorded to prove that we're not doing that. Is a verbal threat. Oh, I'm saying you calling the cops on him won't end well. It's not a threat; it's a promise. So wait, I'm I'm threatening. I don't know the name of the person. Can you? From the person that sent you here, I would like to. I would file charges against her. Oh, that's not going to end well for you, man. If you do See, that, that's why you, say it's <laughs> not you can go ahead. Well. You are such you are such a no. call dupe for falling for her crap. If you want to call that the cops, is, you can. That is a verbal threat. 
verbal threat to a senior citizen. Oh, you're going to call the cops? Oh, you betcha. Okay, good. Because I, I do not do well with okay. this type of verbiage All right. coming from a person. Well, Ron, she's probably going to get you in trouble, man. Those. Why? Because you don't need them. You've got copies. You've Hi, got the original files. Let me have those. I want to see what you got. If he does Liberalism is a cancer. If he does not I want to see what you got. Man's wishes, no. He's going to, he says it's not going to end well for my next door neighbor, who actually happens to be a senior citizen. <laughs> and that is through his line. Oh, hey, ma'am. We actually have everything recorded, and she's lying, lying no, boldly to you. I am not. What's the address of the emergency police? It's you were going to get him in trouble. You're gonna get him in Let trouble. Let the police handle it, but do not verbally abuse. I'm not. Else. I'm literally asking to have a conversation. It's By the way, too. San Jose, Are you a mom? Are you a mom? Are you a mom? Are you a mom? Can you let me? Are you a mom? Oh, I hope. I, I feel so bad for your kids getting raised by you. You probably did a horrible job. And of course, you're single too. I don't see a wedding ring on you. There's a reason for that. I don't need a wedding ring to be married. You're because you're not married. I don't need a wedding ring to be married. Why are you being so abusive? What's your problem? Cops, you can send the cops. What, what you, okay. Well, Ron, you know what? She's gonna get you in trouble, man. All good. You should. Oh, I'm gonna wait for the cops here. No, you leave now. I'm going to wait for the cops. Oh, that'd be interesting. Okay, so what is he, so, okay, basically, what are you going to say? He recommended I have a conversation with him and said, you don't have to let me in. Oh, yeah, that's so, so tough, Ron. You Your dumb neighbor just got door. you in trouble. You're standing here at my door annoying me. I was violated. Then close by it, dude. I don't care. I was violated by a president. Nah, okay. If you want to stick to that. If you, if you want to stick to that. What I would do if I were you, I would tell her to call them off so we can have this talk. But if you, if you really want the cops to come so they can see what's going on, oh, dude. That's literally what I came here to not do. But it, you know what, Ron? If you are this smug to where you're letting this woman bitch you around and get your ass in trouble, then you know what? That's totally fine with me, Ron. Totally fine with me. Because I was here to have a conversation. Yeah, well, right. And that's why you've got a videographer out there recording all this. Right, because she's going to make up a lie and say, I threatened you when I didn't. What did I Did I threaten you with violence? Or did I say I wasn't going to hurt you? Did I, did I threaten to go into your house? Or did I say I wasn't going to go in your house? With a violation of my time and, and, and my property. <laughs> your property, you're a renter. Bit, so you're, a renter. Really you're a renter. You're a renter. The police are on their way. Okay. I thought you don't even like the cops. Aren't you a defund the police? Did you hear that? Did you just hear that? I hear that. Yeah, he just called me. No, I did not. She's just making this up. She's crazy. And even if I did, that's my First Amendment right to do that. I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm not from this shithole state. I don't do drugs. I'm sorry. Anyway. I'm Asian. I'm Asian. I'm Asian and black, ma'am. Wait, why are you laughing at my identity? You racist. You're such an idiot. Okay, so, okay, I mean, I don't know why you're still laughing, because the cops are going to be on the way. I don't have anything to fear from the cops. <laughs> okay, so you know they're going to get the phone call, right? You understand they're going to get the phone call? I didn't do anything. They're getting the phone call. Yes, it, yes, you did. No, Directing someone to touch themselves is illegal when you believe they're 13. I didn't believe it at that oh, time. Oh, yeah, she you did. Reveal herself when no. She no. Pretended to no. understand what no. was. Oh, I see the tears coming, Ron. Your personal training career is done. You know that? All your neighbors are going to know what happened. You're oh, done. Man, You're done. Like threats again here. Oh, no, no, no. This isn't a threat anymore. This is just me telling you what's going to happen. This is, I gave you the option to have a talk. You decided to be smug and get her involved. And guess what? You didn't get her involved. Yeah, you did. You're standing here making an idiot yourself. Oh, out. dude, you're done. Your personal training's done. Oh, by the way, you, we are going to call them too and tell them exactly what you did because we know where you work and you are going to be called. We're going to let them know that you harm children because you look, dude, I know what happens on Facebook. You made an encrypted message with who you thought was a kid. I know it's not just with Summer because I did my research on you. you. Everything, the rest of your shitty life is gonna all fall apart. 
all of it is because you're a you know that? Yeah. I know, I'm not. Yeah. I don't care. See, women are stupid. Women in California are dumb. They defend shit like this because they're naive, dumb creatures. But you, you know exactly what happened and you're going to suffer for it, mother. You understand that? I'm going to go to your job. I'm going to go to all your neighbors. I'm going to tell them what the fuck happened. You had the chance to talk to us. And guess what? Guess what, Ron? You're, yep. Enjoy the rest of your life. This, this man here is a Yeah, he's a in here. And then her, she's defending him for some reason. I hope she's not a mom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, let's, let's just feel, start filming her. Oh, you're going to call him, Ron? No, there was video of the tape. Here. Okay. Yeah, here, we're just going to make sure we can get on camera here. So this man here tried to tell her who he thought was a 13-year-old girl to touch herself. No, I did not think she was a 13-year-old Oh, it's on the call, buddy. It's on the call. It's if too late. It's, it's too late. It's too late. Here, 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 get him on camera. Here, here you go. It's too late. It's too late. All right. Anyway, we're going to get her on camera now, too. We're going to expose her as a sympathizer. Here, let's make sure we put that camera in her face. Uh, do that. Oh, oh. Uh, do not approach me. Do not approach me. We're walking. Me. We're just simply walking. That's fine. Just make sure you zoom in so we can get her face. <laughs> no, we're not. Dude, liberals are scared. Scum of the earth, dude. Scum of the earth. Another liberal woman. Liberal woman need to go to hell, dude. Yeah, I know. You, you zoomed in on her, on her face when she was standing there, right? Okay, good. Good. This is why we love Rumble. Run. All right, ready to have the talk now that she's gone? I don't have anything to talk to you about. Well, why did you tell her to touch herself on the call? Why'd you do that? So, because she had revealed herself to be a, a who was just trying to fool me into being a 13-year-old girl. So that's why you said to touch yourself? Is that the reason? I mean, if that's the reason, that's the reason. That's what I wanted to talk to you about in the first place. Yeah, I was confronting her. So you confronted her by saying to touch yourself? I mean, if, if that's what happened, that's what happened. That's what happened. Okay, well, you admitted that you said to touch yourself on the phone, so now they're going to match that voice up with that. And you know what? I didn't even want that to happen. I just wanted to talk to you, man. I just wanted to talk to you. But now you just admitted on camera to this person that was claiming to be 13 that you said to touch yourself. And you talked about, well, I guess, you know, I'm redundant when I say that. Touching, all of that. Why? Did you just get carried away, dude? Is that what happened? I don't have anything to say to you. Okay, because it's already said on camera, and I appreciate, since your neighbor's going to get you in you trouble now. I appreciate that you think you're all yeah, yeah. this and that. Yeah, right? yeah. We actually have arrests in 39 different states, including here. Yeah. So shit's not going to shit's not going to end well for you, man. It's not. I just wanted to have a conversation. You know I did. You're, you're, I can see in your eyes you're regretting what had just happened. Really, you are. This could have probably been over by now if we just went to have a talk in there. But, I mean, your hand's literally shaking, dude. I mean, I feel bad for you because your neighbor just got you in trouble. My is, if my hand is still shaking, it's because I have been sick. I am just a hair away from being in the hospital. I have... Um, some kind of uh, maybe hormonal condition we don't know. Yeah, it may be sepsis. I may be full of infection right now, and here you are standing talking to me. Good luck with that. Did I force you to talk to us? No, I'm just saying. Okay. Good luck with the fact that you may be getting an infection from me and it's this close to me. Well, if you're knowingly infecting me, oh, that's not even illegal here in this in this state. 
Well, it hasn't been determined yet. I'm, I've yeah. got a phone call later with my doctor mm. about having some tests. Well, dude, I, ho I hope it doesn't happen. Dude, I hope you're not infected. So but, you're going to leave these with me, and I'll go over them. <laughs> no, no, you're not going to grab my property. That's not your property. Apparently, it's conversations from about me. I printed it out. It was obtained illegally. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. You can, dude, you can, dude. I'm sorry, man. I've, I've, heard, I've heard all of this before, dude. That's okay. It's not going to work this time. You can be smug and carry on like you think you know what's going on. You guys are being duped by a, a horrible person. Okay. Who's out <clears throat> so, so we actually have a group that makes sure that kids don't talk to adults online and adults don't talk to kids. And the reason we found you is because we've seen the teen groups. We've seen all of that, man. We've seen your friend requests. We've seen your messages. We've seen all of that. It's not hard to find. <clears throat> I don't think that you are a bad person. I know you do good shit. But like... Dude, your neighbor just f***ed it all up for you, man. I, I have no problem just telling whoever comes. Let's just, I just want to have a talk with, I have no problem saying that. But I, don't, I don't know if I could even tell him that, dude. I have no problem, I have no problem just having a talk with you. Well, I wish you just did. E even, even if you, even if I had a conversation with you to show you how deluded you are on this whole thing, mm -hmm. it's not gonna be with a video camera in my face. Well, that would be your decision, dude. But like, <clears throat> turn the camera off. Turn the cameras off. Well, the fact is, we already have a false accusation against us that I threatened you. I literally said I won't go in unless you let me. I literally said I, I, in no situation am I ever going to put my hands on you, unless you were to like, you know, try to choke me or something, which I don't think you're going to do. I literally, I literally did the opposite of threaten you. I said I can assure you, I'm just here to have a talk, and you know it. Did I ever hold the door open? I don't have anything to talk to you about. <laughs> then you don't have to, man. But like, then leave. I mean, I mean, I'm gonna. I mean, I'm just, at this point, I gotta wait for them coming. But like, I'll send them away. Oh, but you know, I'm not scared of them. You know, it's like it's it's more of it's more of if they're coming. Your neighbor got you in trouble. I mean, this is it has to be resolved somehow, man. I mean, when did like I, this situation didn't just happen because you just decided to message Hannah? I mean. Even then, the first thing you said was, I saw you were 13, and the messages were still initiated. So, I mean, what happened? Is it just like loneliness, boredom? What happened? I vaguely remember uh, the first contact. And the fact is that after her putting her fake profile online, mm -hmm. um, and she got onto mine, and she liked a bunch of my pictures. Is that not allowed to happen, or...? I, I thought that was strange. I said, okay. so I said, um, well, I haven't had a chance to take a look at yours. I'll take a look at yours later. Okay. I'll get back to you, whatever. I don't know, something like that. Dude, because the conversations were so cordial. Because I've seen these conversations before, like with others, where it is, like I said very earlier, it wasn't like that with you. But I mean, it got to a point where this stuff kind of started to the story that she was spinning was that she was new in the state of california uh -huh. so i just figured this some some lonely girl made yeah. contact okay so you were just trying to like be friends with her at first or I was trying to be friends with her all along okay and then it got to a point where i mean kind of helping her with personal training and stuff like that probably i mean you sent her like push-up videos and all that stuff I did send something like that. Okay, okay. <clears throat> so then, I mean, kind of what got a little bit escalated is when she talked about, like, something about her being, something about her being, like, not, or fitting, or something's too big for her. And then, yeah, yeah, she was talking about her eyes or something. Yeah. And then that's when, that's when, from your end, there was a message that was like, you know, you can send a picture of that. No, I was just trying to clarify what she was talking about. She sounded like 
she was going to send send a picture or something mm -hmm. like that, and I was just trying to clarify what she was doing, just talking about. Okay. Okay, but what I'm getting at is there was a picture asked for. I'm just trying to get the reason that why you asked for a picture. I don't remember asking for a picture. And you know what? I mean, as I said, you say, said take a picture for from me. months. For months along the line, I had a big question marks that this person is scamming me. Mm -hmm. Something's wrong. This is not a 13 year old girl. This is a fake profile. Uh -huh. It works. And so I was occasionally looking for ways to get her to reveal herself. Uh-huh. So have there been, and that, uh, that's kind of like what I'm getting at here too. I've been scammed by uh, other people online right. for different reasons, and it was the same kind of thing. Did you send them you like put, gift cards or? You put a certain amount of pictures on your profile, and then you don't put any more. You're not updating, you're not really working on your profile, but you're just trying to contact the person you've made contact with. What do the scammers typically like ask you? Like, do they ask you, like, for gift cards and stuff like that? Oh, I'm, I'm caught in Africa and I need <laughs> money to get back, you know, whatever. There's yeah. different things. Look, I'm, I'm getting cold and I'm sick. Uh -huh. And you, this is going to make me sick just standing here talking. But I mean, I'm, I'm just asking with other scammers. Is it like? Yeah, I, I just. Is it like I, all stuff I, like I that? Like I'm in a situation the, and stuff. I'm in a conversation here because I'm getting sick, and if okay. I, you don't want me to collapse here and have to deal with that, that's what's going to happen if I keep standing here. Well, so, I can't make you stand out here. Yeah, well, I'm going to. Never did I say you have to. I'm going to go in when the police come out. Come out and talk to the police. Can Can we go in with you? No, you can't go in. Okay. With my My house is is a wreck. I've been sick. Actually, I've been sick for four years while I've been here. Uh, but I'm, I'm not inviting anybody in. I don't need to talk to you. I don't have anything to talk to you about. Well, I mean, what I'm, do you hope to resolve? By I'm just asking, is every scammer that's messaged you, do they always say, like, I'm in a situation like this. Oh, I need money. Pay me this now. Do they always ask that shit, like, usually or what? And I actually had a scammer who was trying, actually sent me money, sent me a whole lot of money. Really? And, and asked me to deposit it for them. Oh, do they always do something like with money to try to get you to do something with? Is that always kind of what it is or? I don't know. It's, 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 this happens All, with some regularity. There's always somebody putting something online with crap like that. Okay. And with that, I just took the, I took the checks they sent me and took them to the FBI. Nice. That's how I treat them. <clears throat> well, see, and, that, and that's kind of like you're describing all these scammers, and it's always been money related, always been money related. But did Summer ever ask you for money or any of that? No, and I've never okay. claimed that it was that kind of scam. Okay. It's just I knew something was wrong with right. her because she never would take a, she never would take a selfie. She uh -huh. never posted anything regularly. She never, she was hiding behind something. Okay. And it, it was obvious. I've talked to enough people hiding stuff that it's obvious when somebody's hiding something. Right. It's obvious she was. Right. So, yeah, eventually you found out, sure. But, I mean, if there's, like, selfies being asked for, I mean, she sent you a few selfies and then you referred no, to... No, no, no. Those were selfies. They were faked. And okay. they were pictures that were under control um and of course because she's disguising she's manipulating the pictures anyway uh -huh. so that she doesn't look like the person she really is so right but you referred to her as beautiful so maybe in retrospect you know this but at the time i mean dude if you just got a little bit carried away then shit we then that could be what happened but at the time you've had you had it's from a slick trick you're doing there acting like you're being familiar with me, that you understand that this is how things are, you want me to admit stuff. I no, I'm, I'm really not here for that. Dude, there's literally every, everything's, friend, everything's recorded, helping. man. Everything's there's, already recorded. There's no reason for you to be here. Right. Well, dude, if this is really about like admissions or whatever, you already said you said this on the phone call, you said you did the messages. So I don't really need to get you to quote unquote admit to anything else. But all I'm saying is you had three months to finally say, oh yeah, you know, I don't believe it. But instead, what did you do after the pictures were sent to you? You called it beautiful, you called it this and that. Why? 
I mean, it's all there, man. It's normal conversation. Okay. I understand it's normal conversation, but she sends you a picture right here. Hello, thumbnail. She sends you a picture right here and you said it's wonderful, big smile. And not only that, she said that's special to me, you are. Then not only that, you double texted her. So you initiated it again, man. I don't think you're at a point where you're just talking to people just to talk. Cause you, you, you cut it off with the scammers immediately. If, if, if it turned out she was a real person, uh -huh. then she was obviously in trouble and needed conversation with somebody. Okay. And so I was trying to be there. Okay. Okay. So there was no like malicious intent. There was never any malicious intent. You were just trying to fill a void for somebody or just be kind of guiding somebody. Her storyline was that she came from the same area as me. Uh -huh. She get, you know, was new to the state, yada, yada. And it seemed like there was some, and why would she keep calling me if she didn't need something? So I felt she had some kind of need. If it was real, I always had the question, okay. this is not a real thing, something is going so on. So were you kind of like 50-50 on whether this was real or not? Mm, probably less than 50-50 because she met all the signs of not being real. Like what? Like I said, your uh, fake Facebook page. It's easy to tell fake based on okay? the page. sees them all the time. Right, but if she was meeting all the signs, these, this conversation happened for three, for three months. Like I said, if she is really a 13-year-old girl who okay. has a problem, I'm not going to just deny it unless I know. Well, the last conversation, I knew. She was revealing herself in the pattern of her conversation, and then she comes out and and, and stutters and stambles and says that she doesn't know what it is. And then right then I knew, I said, that's it. This is, a, this is an older person faking it again. Okay, so what did it for you? So, so is that when you knew 100% it was fake? Yes. Okay, so before that, you know, we can get into numbers here, 50 people, whatever. But before that it was either, I don't really know, I think she may be, but I think she might not be. That's, was that what happened? I said, I think she, probably is but that um i don't want to take the chance that this is somebody that needs something okay so while you were still in that limbo can we just call it the limbo can we agree on that term while you're or unsure uncertainty right, we're having a conversation uh -huh. the, the stuff you're asking is none of your business okay you're nobody to me this doesn't make any difference okay this conversation means nothing okay it's just a problem and okay so so ron i'm i'm, I'm, I'm just letting you know ron I'm sick okay and i'm cold and i'm going back inside that's fine but i'm just letting you know you just told me on camera that when you were talking to her about when you suggested it that's still at a point where you didn't know if she was fake or not no, that's that still was... that's still when there was a belief you just said this on camera so you just right. you just yourself You're even extra hours. no You're it's all hours. on there no. it's all you slipped up buddy I you slipped up buddy up. yeah you did you yeah you did when You're after she such, said after i asked you i asked you after she said she didn't know what it was, is that when you fully believe she was fake? That's when you're like, yes. So before that, when you asked her, do you know what it is, there was still that belief she was real. So it's all on camera. Oh, you sure you want to go inside now? Oh, that's a bad move, buddy. That's a really bad move. I, I, I'm tired of you twisting things around and you think you're so smart. It's not twisted. I, you got caught. You, you got caught. You got caught. So can we continue this conversation and resolve this? Or are you just going to go inside knowing that you just admitted no, they, to asking no, a 13-year-old girl they, about that on I did camera? I did not admit that. I did not admit that. Oh, but you admitted to asking it in general. You, that's, that's a given. I, I told you specifically that before I mentioned anything about that, I knew completely that she was not a 13-year-old No, girl. no. After she said she, said, she said she didn't know what it was, that's when you said that you knew completely. Yeah. So before that, when you're still asking, when you asked her, do you know what is? I didn't ask her that. I just mentioned the word and she says, and she didn't know okay. what, okay. what it was. But, you did, but before that you talked about touching her and all of that stuff. Yeah, dude, it's not, yeah. That's before, that's before. This is what happens that's when
It's on the line. <laughs> trying to get That's before. Go to in the okay. Same so if it's the so what about the breast touching? That was before. Why? I have no idea. Why'd have you do no it? Idea. Why? I just want to know why. I have no idea. I don't know what the conversation was. Why don't you give me the sound go over the conversation? It was on the phone. Do you want me to play the recording? No, I don't. I don't have time for that. Okay. I don't have time for your nonsense either. <laughs> I don't okay. know what you think you're doing. So you ask her it's about like, touching before. Her, her thing that she gets on there and says, um, what's she saying? Okay. Oh, saving the kids. What a bunch of bullshit. Uh -huh. She's out there goading to, to prey it. She's out there goading for it. Oh, so she's making prey on people? Well, yeah, she's stimulating them. Wow, I, th I think you might have slipped up there. Did you just call yourself a no, you said she makes <laughs> do this. Ron, this isn't looking good. What is okay. your IQ? Is it 80, maybe? No, it's actually 180. I'm a direct descendant of Einstein uh -huh. and Werner von Braun. I'm actually German Jew. Yeah. I'm just kidding. But, Ron, I'm, I'm not stupid. You're not either. You are stupid. Okay. You are stupid. Gentlemen, how are you guys? How's it going, sir? I'd like to you guys, please. Yes. Uh, you guys? Yes. Okay. okay, so what she said is... We're gonna, we're gonna separate. Okay. Is this the guy you came to contact in the blue? Yes, the guy? he's been voluntarily talking to us this whole time. Can I talk to you real quick? Sure, by all means. Okay. So I'll, I'll talk to you sure, sure, sure. Sure. No, keep it on, keep it on. Okay. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Okay, <clears throat> so what she told you is a complete lie. It's, Sir? it's full of shit. Sir, you're okay. talking to me. Why are we here today? Okay, so you know that show to catch a Yes, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm familiar with the show. So we do a similar thing on YouTube at Rumble. So we pose as minors online. We do this across the country. We have arrests in California and 38 other states. He's been messaging who he's believed to be a 13-year-old girl. And the messages themselves are pretty vanilla. But on the phone with who he thought was his kid, he talked about her and touching her and stuff like that, like kind of guiding her to do that stuff. And... Oh, they're all in some group. They all work together. They've got photo copies of my conversations and, and recordings of these characters with them right now. They've got um, recordings of the phone conversations I had. And How did they get that? So when she called me. So she called you out of this loop? She called me, yeah. So she always said that she had to be a call. Hey, do me a favor. Just take that. I'm sorry. Who was that? I'm getting kind of cold. I'm sick. I'm sick. So who is, who is she? She just calls you out of the blank? Yeah. It's, she's got a fake profile on Facebook to try to work for Says she's a 13 year old. She's actually a 40 something. Um, you know, she just kind of walks off the table. Save the kids program and or something. She just stay outside and talk to us. And, and I'm nice Okay. And so you're on Facebook, right? Yes. She's on Facebook. Yes. And she reached out to you? Um, yeah. I got a uh, suggestion for a new private friend thing. So she, 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 so she tries to friend you on Facebook? Yes, she friended me on Facebook and once she friended me, um, she went and liked to like every picture I had posted. Okay, is your number listed on your Facebook account? Uh, it's not now. Well, at the point it was? It probably was, yeah. And so she calls you? Go the oh, she called me through the Facebook video. Facebook. Okay, so she reaches out to you over the internet. Yeah. Um, and, and she sees you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
She's in. She, she's on here right now. Okay. Yeah. You're saying they try to address yes. what you're saying. Yes. You're hurting me now. But exactly. So what we do to make this um, possible is... Oh, this is blonde. So they're, they're her, but basically they look like a kid because there's an app called Face App. So if we were to take a picture of the Face App, it could make me look like an elementary school kid. So yes. why were these taking, yeah. like, these uh, text the messages? Uh, from nice. July to July to... Recently, I believe. Did this email tell you where she was? Not December. I think she lived in Sacramento. I believe so. They just moved there from Sacramento. So, so this is. They, this this is, is she said they moved there from St. Louis to Sacramento. Okay. Right, and I come from St. Louis, yeah. and that's yeah. where conversations started. Was was the St. Louis hotel? Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. How long have you been out here from St. Louis? Thirty-five years. Mm -hmm. themselves are not like What's I wouldn't say illegal, but it's what it's what he said on the phone, you know, telling her to make sure anyone's touch her all of this stuff. And, and why didn't you call them up? Go ahead. Oh well, we, we get their confession on camera. We were gonna call you guys, but she did it prematurely. But have you ever been arrested before? Never, but no. yeah. Any state? No. Okay, hang tight. Sure. Actually, if you want to go inside, I'll, I'll yeah, come in. Yeah, let me explain. I'm sick. Okay, what do you mean by sick? Well, like we're trying to find out what like the flu? No, I may have an infection that could be life threatening, even as far as. Do you need an ambulance? Uh, no, no, no. I'm, I've got a doctor's appointment at 3 o'clock to talk to him. So do we, do we I've been sick for four years since I moved yeah. here. And my inside looks like a cordless place. Okay. Is this so check, check, check. Mr. Hall, listen to me. Go inside, relax, I'll knock on the door when I need to talk to you. Okay. Right, that's fine. Are you contagious? Yeah. I shouldn't be. If it's if it's an yeah. in it's in my okay. blood. Okay, so go ahead, go ahead inside, sit down, and I'll knock on the door. All right. Okay. Thank you. So basically, these were users in Texas. They uh, go online. They have different people go online, Facebook, and, and, and yeah, it's a social media platform. And basically, tries to entrap. Well, we don't entrap. They always message well, first. Well, they, they so he was in like a thirteen a uh, teenage group right, chat, right? And he hit the thirteen year old up. Well, and then he said that the thirteen year old was like in his pictures first. Oh yeah, that could have been, been the case, but like you know. Liking someone's pictures, I mean, he's messaging first. He's saying, I, I saw you were 13. I mean, I mean, so who engaged in the con? Like, who engaged the, um, the initial contact? Was it your people liking his pictures first? Yeah, I think I believe so. But the actual messaging was well, him. him. Yeah. But he was referencing, hey, like, I saw you like my picture. Right, right. right. So, so, I guess one of the, can I say one of your employees or something like that? That's fine. Okay. So you have a company. Well, so we, we don't have like an LLC or anything. No, but, I'm just, yeah, but like, yeah, I do like pay them, for example. So I just want to make sure I get this right. You're from Houston, Texas? Yes, sir. Okay, and then you set up a chat room online? So um, I did, not there's another lady that did that helps us with this. But basically, like, we throw out profiles on social media platforms, basically advertising that, hey, you know, I'm, I'm a kid, blah, 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 blah. Right. Like, this was in a team group, for example, and, you know, the way that, we come across someone like Ronald is like, okay, why is he in a teen group? You know, like why is a seventy-four-year-old man in a group with teenagers? Okay, and weird, but not against the law. Right, 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 exactly. And so a lot of these people do message us okay. first, as he did here. And basically, so we, what we do is we say we're from the same area they are. Okay. And you know, get some dialogue going. Right, okay. some dialogue happens, and you know, some are way more simple than others. He wasn't overly. However, on the phone is the bread and butter where he like directs her and talks about touching her and stuff like that. And the messages were just. Do you have any of those on the phone messages? Oh, wait, no, on a phone call. Oh, on a phone call. Oh, yeah. Okay. And we can send you guys all of that for sure. So just. And so you guys reach out to him? Um, no, no, no. He, they, they always message first. He always. What's well, the initial contact? Like Thank you for liking. Thank you for liking my photos. I promise to send you a chance. 
Yeah, I mean, apparently, I just like palm trees and stuff. So I guess we're like pictures of palm trees. But, you know, there's so, times in the conversation where you triple text. Like, and so then, so let's fast, let's fast forward. Um, you guys get all this, and then what, what, when do you guys come out to Oh, on Christmas. When we did stuff in LA, we got an individual wrestling Lancaster. Okay, so, so, so on this, when did you come out for this stuff? Oh, uh, today. So this all yeah, it's true. Okay. okay, so then uh, I know I'm skipping over the whole thing. So sure. let's, let's uh, you knock on his door. What happens then? So he answers the door. Um, I say, I got a package for you. Ron, uh, confirmed it. Ron, he's like, yes, I got a package for you. Um, I need to talk to you about the messages this summer. And he instantly knows what it is. Right. And he's like, oh, you know, she's a, player. you know, she's like blaming her and everything. And I'm like, dude, I just want to have a conversation. I never said, never, and I'm sure he didn't even tell you. I never said I was going to go into his house. No, no, he, he's not. He's not playing that at all. Right. Okay. okay. So you know, you know where we're here, right? The neighbor. Because, yeah. The neighbor called. Yeah. She's she, she's a, she's a, she's a like idiot. Well, I, she she called the police. She has the right to do that. Yeah. So what was your end game here today? My end game was to get his confession on camera and call you guys. Okay. So so he hasn't confessed anything. So. Um, Let's just say he never. If he would have said, "Hey, you know what? Go pound the salt." Right. Say that. Would you guys have just turned around and left? No, no, no. Okay. Well, so let's just go th run that scenario. He tells you, "Hey, you know what? Leave me alone." Yeah. What, what would you guys do next? Oh, just go to the PD and turn them in. Okay. Yeah. yeah no, we turn everybody in for sure. Like we want to see the people arrested. That's like our end game. We show up to court. We have convictions. Yeah. But you know, so anyway, I was a debacle with her. Okay. Yeah, so it's just, just you could you could leave her out. Of okay. It. She's just. She was calm, and she doesn't know me. Let's actually. So let's put her. Let's put you in her situation. She knows the neighbor. She doesn't know what's going on. Right, right. You guys are saying going on the computer. She three. She sees three bigger sized guys. Right. Her, her elderly neighbor's door. She hears there might be a, an argument going on. She calls her. Right. Does that make sense. Right. No, I understand that. So you guys get here. There's uh, kind of an argument between you guys. One of you guys starts telling her. She gets. She gets nervous. She calls. She did, I totally get what she did. Uh, right. Right here. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. So, uh, give me a second. Um, I'm going to call my supervisor. I don't know what's going on here. Okay. Um, so, oh, and he actually, after her, he actually did talk to us. Like, he was standing outside and just talking to us after. Okay. And he said that he admitted to saying that, yeah, I, I told her to touch her. And but he also just told me he thought he was talking to a 34 year old woman. That's what he told me. We never mentioned 34. I'm, I'm just, I'm just, yeah, yeah. I'm just telling right. you what, what he told right. me. He said that he believed it was fake after we said we didn't know what it was. And I told him, dude, well, that means when you were asking about and telling her to do it, that means you believe she was real. And to, so up in, and I told her, you asked about the press before the. So up until that point where you're asking her to do all this stuff, you're believing she's real. And he's like, well, now you're just twisting my words. But I'm like, no, dude, that's, you slipped up. And then he also slipped up when he said, like, she just, this account just gets to prey on people. I'm like, so did you just call yourself a And he's like, no, I didn't say that. Like, and look, the thing is, on Facebook especially, because, like, you know, dating at, like, Grindr and Tinder and stuff like that, those people aren't, like, looking for kids because, like, over 18 now. But Facebook and Instagram, you have to be quote unquote 13 to join. So people like Ron are searching for kids. So I think that. If, if, if the room you went into, what you say? Like it, how do people know it's a teen room? Oh, it just says teen room. Oh, it's, it literally says teen room? Oh, I, I, I'm yeah. finished. I don't, I don't have Facebook. Of course, of course. Yeah, I don't have Facebook. So, uh, so if I go on this room, I will know that the people on there are teenagers? Oh, it's very clear. Yes. Okay. And, and, and it's clear, I mean, does it literally say this is for teenagers or? Yeah, it like says teens 13 to 21. Yeah. I don't know why 21 is a teen, but they always like say 21. So they say 13 to 21. Okay. So I'm just you, naming a group that I know about. No, understood. So, but this particular group, <coughs> what, what does this particular group say on the internet? Do you know or on the Facebook? No, no, I'm just going off of, they usually find us in teen groups. I don't know specifically so, how. So this who, was who contacted you? Um, so an individual named Sarah, who and, who, and who is that? She she lives over in Illinois. And she like helps us out. She's like, hey, I'm talking to a guy in California who thinks I'm this. Uh, do you want to go get him? I'm like, yeah. So she's like, you know, like with you know, you know, the show to catch a right? I, I've heard of it. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay, so you know how they have like the people chatting online and Chris Hansen at the confronting? Right. It's like, I'm not saying I'm Chris Hansen, but like there's people that do the chatting, then I do the confronting. Okay, but you, are you te do you technically work with her in a sense that you guys don't, you know, you guys work for the same company? Yeah, yeah, we well, obviously we do, yeah. And what company is that? I guess you can call us, but like again, we're not like an LLC or anything. No, 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 I, I, I understand. Well, I guess my point is, we're associated. Right, and you and you've known you've met her before. Yes, yes, I have. Okay, so how many people are, are doing what she does? Where she's kind of just going online looking for people to hit up online? Uh, probably like there's probably five people like that that help us out. Okay, and then it's you and these three guys, or yeah, yeah, me and me and those two like travel. And travel. Yes. So. You got two or three people online, have to approach them. Yeah. You just, you know, say, hey, I got somebody that you can tell. Cut it off. 